Hey you guys, it's William Colling from Wee Wee Vlogs and I am super excited because Nutza Budzaladze from Georgia has revealed her Eurovision 2024 song, Firefighter Devon. Hey you guys, hey William. Shall we watch and react? Let's, Let's do, do this. this. You guys, Nutza is a queen of singing competitions. She has participated in and or won so many shows. She's been on American Idol. She was on The Voice of Turkey. She won everything in Georgia. She is a true queen. The song Firefighter, I'm reading on Wee Wee Vlogs, conveys a powerful message about expressing a metaphorical fight against various negative aspects and things in our world, like war, envy, and hate. There's a recurring theme of, I will save this love, and that is meant to reflect her kindness towards others and the desire to spread good feelings and love during hard times. Well, that is beautiful. We're ready to go. Hitting pa. Lay. I feel thunder. Ho oh, ho! Oh! Spin girl! You know she can sing. She can sing. You know she can she sing. She can sing. Is she on the moon? Ho oh, oh, oh. ho! Editorial. Ho oh, oh. ho! Oh! This is a visual feast! Woo! Call the fire brigade! Pound the alarm! Oh my god! This is on this is working for me! The choreo is working here! Oh! On those knees, girl! Costume change. It's like Ruslana or Helena Paparizzu. Oh my god! Ha! Oh, it's building. Bam! <gasps> what? Put out the fire! Oh my god! Shackle! <laughs> you are amazing! He's done the video in the right direction for this. Keep moving! She's starting fire! Gaza or Ashvili? Girl! I see you! Ooh! The angle! The energy! Oh, this is really good. This is really good. It's just picking pace. It's just on the move. Darko Dimitrov? It's relentless. You haven't just come to show up. You've actually come to snatch a few crowns. She looks great. I'm with. on it. I'm ready. She is ready. Oh, wow. Grace, poise. Give it to me, honey. Rise like a phoenix. Conchita would be Different proud. Different spin on Conchita there. Top of the pyramid. Get it, girl. Statuette. Oh, this is... <laughs> Fire! Oh. Yeah! Wow. Oh! This choreo! Wow! This is how you do it, girl! <laughs> Higher... Stall! Oh, oh, the queen my goodness. has arrived! This is a... Vogue photo shoot. This ain't Vogue. This is Game of Thrones. I feel so motivated. Motivational speaker right there. Okay, listen, listen, listen. Oh my goodness. Let me tell you something. People of Georgia, that's the Republic of Tbilisi I'm talking. If you have a fire, do not send Nutsa because she is bringing heat she is bringing fire, she will make it worse. It's like sending a fireman who shows up with kerosene or gasoline. This is hot. Listen, listen, listen. Nutsa 
Buzalatse. I'm all about her. What I love about this is the relentless build. It just keeps going. There is no break. Louder, check. Higher, check. More choreo, sure. More energy, sure. They just keep throwing things on. It's like, we were loud last year. We're going to be louder this year, you know? We had a few moves last year. We're going to have the whole tornado this year. I really like what they've done. Now, musically, in terms of like lyrics, in terms of song composition, you know, this is nothing original necessarily. However, Nutsa, Nutsa's fire, Nutsa's energy mixed with that music, that's when it becomes interesting. This is the perfect vehicle for her to show she is not just a ballad queen. She's a dancer. She's a singer. She's a fighter. She's a firefighter. And she's a fire maker. Fire maker. She's breathing oxygen into those flames. Water. This fire is water resistant. Um, yeah, I think Darko Dimitro and team have done a good job crafting a vehicle for her. And that's what you have to do at Eurovision. Watching that, I was getting vibes of like Ruslana at times, the way she moves. And by that, I mean the freedom, the abandon, the way she's going all in. She's not doing this by halves. <laughs> no, 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 no. She's doing this by 200, 300%. She told us in her interview shortly after, well, actually an hour before she was revealed, that she wanted her song to be the bomb, that she was bringing the bomb. I believe it. I believe it. This is like a seismic wave. It's like, boosh. You know, it's like, boosh. She's going to need to be running on that treadmill, doing her vocal breathing exercises, because this is nonstop energy. And that's really going to help it in semi-final two. You know, I'm just going to preface this by saying that I spent about mm, six days seeing Nutsa consecutively hanging out with her. And not only is she a beautiful person, there's a fire and a determination in her. So a song like Firefighter is so befitting. And even though she didn't come up with this composition, it was almost like Dr. Dimitra just looked at her and thought, I got you. I got you. And boy, did he get her. This is so amazing. It's untrue. You know, this is perhaps the best Georgia entry since... I want to say Nina Sublati, but you know, the young Georgian Lolitas were also really good, but you know, different kind of music. But this is just like, this, this is almost like coming back undefeated. Yeah, coming back undefeated. I must admit, Nutsa is a, is a force to be reckoned with. She is so amazing vocally. And I must admit, I'm really glad she served me something different because I was expecting one of these like, ugh, like the one, the thing about Nutsa is she's so talented and because she has such an amazing voice, there tends to be an over-reliance on her voice. You know, it's like that one instrument that, because it's so good, it tends to dominate the showcase, right? It's a bit like Celine Dion. As amazing as Celine Dion, let me say was, because we know she's battling with health issues. As amazing as she was, one of the things that you don't want is for Celine Dion to cover your song. Because when she covers it, you forget the original. I drove all night. Can you actually listen to the original of that? It's unlistenable. Even Hearts alone. Celine Dion's version is considerably better. And her song, uh, what's uh, the Jennifer Rush? Um, Look back before you leave my life. Uh, think twice. I'm sorry. Jennifer Rush is out of the picture. You only listen to Celine Dion's version. And in a way, Nutsa replayed this kind of... Yeah, she has that power. Because when my girl featured an, an American Idol, Luke Bryan, Katy Perry, Lionel Richie, they were all like standing ovations every night, every night, every night. And she was beyond amazing. Her version, in fact, what was... She's amazing to the point that when she covers a song, she's not threatened by the fact that for um, Lady Marmalade, for instance, 
had four power vocalists on her, on, on the track, on the original. She decided to do the whole song. On, <laughs> she, she decided to take Maya, Christina Aguilera, Pink, and Lil' Kim all in one audition shot. And she blew them away. Then she did Greatest Love of All. Again, slayage, slayage, realness, honey. Then she did I Surrender. I, 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 I was like, as much as I love Jennifer Hudson, you're gonna love me. I also love Nutsa's version. And there's some days where I'm like, mm, I fancy Nutsa's version. Which of course means going onto YouTube and checking how, how she emotes and how she drives the power of her voice to great effect. But the one that really, really, really blew me away was when she performed Queen's The Show Must Go On. And I'm like, no, the show has to go on and Georgia has to internally pick her to represent and to fly the flag in Malmo and beyond. Let's look at the running order for semi-final two of Eurovision 2024. Of course, we don't have the running order. So what I mean is who else is competing? In the first half, you have Albania, Armenia, Austria, Czechia, Denmark, Greece, Malta, and Switzerland. And in the second half, you have Belgium, Estonia, Georgia, Israel, Latvia, the Netherlands, Norway, and San Marino. So looking in the second half, all right, from Belgium, you've got sort of dark pop. Estonia, you've got super crazy. Georgia, you've got... Is this an ethno-bop dance banger? Israel has a ballad. Latvia has a ballad. Male, soulful. Netherlands is dancey. Norway is rock. San Marino is rock. Yeah, there's nothing that sounds like Georgia in this half. There is not a female up-tempo slay, like up-tempo dancey. In fact, are there... San Marino is men. Norway has a female lead. Netherlands is a man. Latvia is a man. Israel is a female. Georgia is female, Estonia is male, and Belgium is male. Okay, so you know what? There are only two ladies, well, three if you count Norway, in the second half, so that's good for Nutze. Look, Nutze needs to deliver the same energy and vibe as she did in this video. If she does that, she's going to the final. This is among the highest energy we've seen in any performance this year. The way she just stomps it out nonstop. The poise, the power, the confidence of her motions Again, the lyrics, I don't think the lyrics are that strong necessarily, but that's okay. People don't listen to lyrics. But I think what's strong here is her, the force. That's going to get this through. There are no juries here to be nitpicky about those things. There's just the people. And this is made for TV. That music video, it's made for TV. It's like, whoa, full frontal. Get it, girl. That's all I have to say. Huh, you know... This is a song that is also very memorable. The song structure is, you know, I feel it in the air, dun, 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 like a firefighter. I've only heard it once and it's in here. And with that choreography and the slayage and the passion and the LGBT warrior feels about it. I'm like, girl. I'm not even talking about qualification at this point. We're just talking where in the top 10 is Georgia going to be? Because this is going to shoot for the stars. And this will have a life beyond Eurovision. Mark my words. This will have a life beyond Eurovision. Uh, Nutsa is, is really good. But, you know, sometimes you could be so good and not have a great team behind you. And, you know, Natia... It, the Georgian team is very nurturing and they're going to do a really good job. My only fear with Nutsa, and she's probably going to hate me for this, is that she is so talented. But even talented, even talented people need to edit. You need to pull back. You need to scale back. And there is a tendency for her to give me those vocal showers. Sometimes it works. When she performed We Are One at Kenga Magic. She literally, I mean, she was the highest scoring international um, artist that ever featured in its history. And she, she won the award <laughs> and she got the most points. So, but 
a part of me was like, ah, you know, these vocals flourishes. I just want tracks live. I, you know, I just, yeah. Because when you start going in this way and this way and this way, and it's like, okay, you leave me at the door. But no, I want you to take me with you. And this song has enough production to kind of cut all that back where she's just focused on delivering the lines and delivering stellar choreography and giving us fashion moments, which no doubt we're going to eat up when we get to Malmo. I want to read some comments from the Weebly Blogs website. This is Sweater. It's such a good song, but Georgia really needs to retire English and turn to their amazing language. Just look at what masterpieces JESC is bringing. I really feel that Georgian could elevate any song, but still not a bad entry at all, and I can't wait for the live performance. So I do appreciate that Georgian is a beautiful language. However, for this song, I feel like, you know, she's getting through the English. Nutza has very good pronunciation as well. Um, yeah, I guess the term firefighter, she wanted to get this universality, and like certainly with the word firefighter, people will get it. Anonymous91 says, same mistake as last year, again in English, a not very good English, similar to Iru. Chorus feels very dated, been there, done that, by Jason Derulo, I think, in his song Trumpets. Ethno, yes, for the state of Georgia in the USA, it feels ethnic, yes, for the country, not so much. As someone from the state of Georgia in the United States, let me tell you, this does not give me peach state. This is giving me Nutsa Budzaladze, honey. Pakofo, Pakoto? Yes, Picoto says, so their conclusion was that last year's song wasn't sufficiently overdramatic, and they decided to dial it up with this one just to be sure. To which Bad Wolf Girl says, at least the lyrics are more coherent. Yes, the lyrics are a step in the right direction. I'm here for the drama. Give us all the drama. This is Momo. This song is not bad at all, but it doesn't have anything unique that makes it stand out. Yes, honey, writes, another female bop. I don't know what to say. Well, again, thinking back to that running order, there's not another female bop in the second half of that semi, so that's really going to help Nitsa. Retko Curry says, don't get me wrong, it's not bad. I like it even. I just feel like I've heard this a thousand times by now. Maybe, but have you seen it? I have not seen a woman serving Game of Thrones fashion, editorial poses, all of that choreo while singing about being a firefighter. I just, I haven't seen it or heard it. Max says, first of all, the song is very loud. It is not exactly a pleasure to listen to, similar to last year. The power of the voice and the wall of produ production is just overwhelming. Take a step back and relax, Georgia. You have a whole lot of passion, I got it. You can make better use of that. To which Paul Reeson, one of my favorite commentators says, well said, everything is 110%. Instruments, music, vocals, a little more balance would benefit the song. I do think if even for a second she went quiet, breathed, and then released, that could be a really dramatic moment. Maybe they'll do that with the lighting or something, but they've got a lot to work with here. So I'm, I'm feeling really good actually. And finally, this is Lauren M.I.A. She says, it's good, though nothing groundbreaking. It's like they had a checklist. Strong semi-ethnic beat, check. Dance break, check. High note being shouted as a finale to the song, check. Barely clothed diva with her equally sparsely clothed dancers. We'll check this one in May. Nothing really wrong with it, and I wouldn't be surprised if it qualified, but there are other songs I'm more excited to hear. Listen. It sounds like our readers, readers are saying there's too much but not enough. I say give me more. I say give me more. I know Nutsa's going to kill this. She's an incredible live performer. I just hope they have more staging than they had with Iru. I feel like Iru was let down because there was nothing on the stage. I mean, it was like, it was Iru, who, who's great and who I would have put through. But, um... That's to say I love you, Nutsa Budzaladze, and I'm hoping to see you in the grand final. And I think it'll happen. That's what we think. What do you think? Is Georgia headed to the final? What suggestions do you have for staging? Let us know here on Wee Wee Vlogs. Oh, this is so amazing. This is so amazing. A girl that is slaying in Dubai, went on to Los Angeles, worked it out on American Idol. Now she's in the Eurovision family. I can just see like more chapters of greatness 
awaits her. And I'm just so excited for these new chapters. But these chapters would have a lot more meaning if they were documented on Pinterest because fans want to connect with your mood board. So here's the question. Nutsa Buzaladze, are you on Pinterest? What is your mood board saying tonight? Can we tune in? We are ready to follow you. And guys, while you're at it, follow We We Blogs on Pinterest and we will see you later. And we'll see you later. Bye! Bye.